Hi right, folks and welcome back to another ugly dog challenge. This is going to be the Mike challenge tonight. So uh, he wanted to see purple, pink, and yellow, and we're going to do it on a jerk bait. So uh, let's just dump, jump in here, ugly dog style, and see what we can come up with. So we're going to start this bait with yellow and we're going to use a yellow light and it's a folk art paint then we're going to use plum for the top of the bait and we're going to come back with podge pink on it so let's just jump in here feet first and paint this belly of this bait just as yellow as we can get it you want to so how's everybody's week been our week's been pretty good around here busy we're always busy so uh, if you're new to the channel welcome my name is Charlie and my wife's name is Melissa and you'll see her on some videos uh, we just want to welcome you and thank you for tuning in we put out videos uh, three times a week Monday Thursday and Saturday different things that we paint and do around the shop here we do giveaways it's just so we have a lot of fun. Well, let's get started with this old yellow light here. And just start down here and start painting that up. We're going to paint it up about the lateral line on this base. Because we're going to bring another color down. Pretty nice there, boss lady. Throw another coat on it right quick. Folks, to submit a challenge, go to the website at uglydoglures.com and you can, uh, when you get on the website, there's challenge and then there's, uh, says something else up there. What does it say, Melissa? It, well, it says winners, but to, winners. to submit a challenge. To so submit a challenge. challenge, just go to submit a challenge, put your colors. I pick the bait. I pick the style. And uh, just give me some colors and we'll, we'll see what we can do with them. We always come up with something kind of unique and different. So that's how you submit a challenge to Ugly Dog Lures. We, uh, put out one challenge per week and we have quite a few challenges in the books back here already so that's the easiest way to submit the challenges to go there that way it don't get lost in the feed because that has been known to happen and it's not intentional it just happens so and they uh, we send them lure for free and we Ask them to pay the shipping if they can. Yeah, we'll send you the lure for free, but we ask that you pay the shipping and that's it. I mean, you're getting a $15 custom painted lure for just a few dollars. That we don't even get it because it goes to the post office. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, and we have sent a lot of lures out now from our challenges and we do just enjoy it so much. We enjoy the interaction with all the people that we've met around you know all the way from Australia and we got a guy from Australia and got guys from Canada that follow us and they interact with us and it's just so much fun I just love it mostly you know? I slip up there once while and say a ugly word oh that's what you're talking about it's not on purpose I just slip up that's pretty just leave it like that yeah. <laughs> Got to have his third color in it. Well, that's all purple we're putting on that bait. That's kind of a neat color combination. Though. Yeah. I, I like yellow and purple. It's yellow and pink. Now, he didn't opt for any color of glitter in this bait. Is that pink or purple? It's purple. It's plum purple. Oh. 
I really got to pay attention on these days. Yes, you do. And you can't tell me that you're too broke to pay attention either. Because I know better than that. You don't know nothing. Yeah, I do. I just bought you... I know that it takes a really big dog to weigh a ton. <clears throat> I just bought you podcast stuff. I'm broke. Yeah. Well, that's going to be coming soon, folks. I'm going to be doing a live podcast and talking about different things, fishing and hunting and haven't figured the life part out yet. We're going to do a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> the first couple of them may not be alive. Yeah. Well, we'll I got to learn it. We'll figure all that out. My wife's an electronical genius and I'm a dummy. Okay, we're going to let that dry up for a few minutes and get it good and dry and then we're going to put a little bit of a wrap on it and just run a little bit right down the sides with the pink. And leave the top purple and the bottom yellow. So we'll be right back, folks. Okay, folks, we're back. We're going to wrap this bait up and get our uh, pods pink put on it. So, let me get it wrapped up right quick and we'll go to work. This stuff will work great, great, great on smaller baits, but on these bigger baits, it's not so, so great. But it leaves a cool pattern. It absolutely leaves a cool pattern. I do like that much about it. I'm always, always on the lookout for different stuff to make pretty cool patterns on the sides of my baits. Always homeless. Always. Always. So I come up with some crazy stuff sometimes, folks. But you know, it's everybody asks me, why do you do this this way? It's not that I do it that way. It's just about creating for me, and uh, I like to create different, unusual. I do some traditional stuff too, but unusual is my thing. My wife will tell you that. Mm -hmm. There's our podge pink. Pretty nice looking stuff. It's pink. Let's get us a little bit of it poured up in here. And, uh, let's just start laying some pink in this side. Right there. some pink laid in that side. Now let's lay some on this other side. Let me get everything kind of where I want it here. There's just some pink on that other side there now. That looks pretty pink, don't it, Melissa? Yes, it does. It'll be odd, unusual. Ugly dog kind of bait. I'd be disappointed if it wasn't. You and me both. Okay, I think we're going to leave it at that right there, folks. What a fun little bait to paint. I like to paint them all. You know, I get asked all the time, what's your favorite? I really don't have a favorite. I just like them all. So more about the journey for me. So. Yeah, so. Definitely different. Ooh, 
Ooh. That's pretty cool. I like. Mike, my little buddy. This is the challenge was for us from Mr. Mike. A little different. Pretty awesome. I got to put some crazy eyes on it. Now the glitter for me. Sometimes I use it. Sometimes I don't. But it puts more pop in, in the lure in the water. And that's uh, one of the reasons that I like it. Man, that's a, that's just a cool looking little bait. It's got some pop in it now from that stuff. It does. So, I think this is going to get just a little tiny bit of glitter in it when I talk to you here in a minute. Did he ask for glitter? Nope. Does it say no glitter? One of them said no glitter. I think I done did that one a while back, didn't I? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. I don't see so many of them. I don't have to put glitter at all. It don't bother me either way. Well, let's find some eyes. Dose. Okay, she's... Are they going to look good? I mean, don't put something there that's going to look bad. No. Good. Oh, the black one's going to look better. The red ones. Red ones. Ain't very good. Oh. Go bring me my new eyes. <sighs> Let's see what we got in this bag of new eyes that I got in. That eye right there would look pretty. That amber. Or that one with the pinks. That's real. Man. That yellow one will look good. Yep. Yep. Then you get up in here in the big stuff. My goodness, how many eyes did you order? Uh, I think this bunch had 760. You're grounded from Amazon. You want to ground somebody from Amazon? I don't shop Amazon. You shop all over. I shop eBay. And I've got about uh, 400 more of the yellow lizard eyes in the cart. And fours and fives and sixes. Just be aware when you go looking in the cart, there's something in it. Okay. I think them yellow eyes are going to look nice on that bait. I agree. That's kind of what I had in my head when you went that way anyway. So. It was jello. See? Oh, sorry. Oops. Can't get it around there enough. So. Yellow. Yellow, gold, whichever one you want to call them. One or the other. You in those stands today? I know it. I ain't been the same since I had the stuff. You weren't the same before you had the stuff. You don't have to be mean to me all the damn time. Obviously I do. Uh -huh. There we go. Pretty nice looking eyes on there. So let's uh, mix us some poxy up. And uh, poxy this beautiful lure right quick. That's pretty, that's 
unique and different, big time. So I like it. I like it a lot. Me too. That's one of these little tiny things that I got around here. Say, do you want to buy new ones that were bigger? Yeah, I'm going to try to use them up. Well, this bait, we'll get one and one. We'll do this bait. i got to let it run down there good. So. Exact measurements. One cc. One c. One c. Let's give her a good mix. Very nice, Melissa. Very nice. Give us some hooks over here. Have them ready to go. And let's put some poxy on this beautiful bait. Yount too. Can you move the stand? Yeah, I'll move the stand. Thank you. So, start laying some poxy in on here. Let me get up and around them eyes good, folks. Belly done good. There you go. Mm. Pretty nice bait. Now let's clean the holes out on it. Get it hung over there behind me to dry. And Mr. Mike Challenge is done there. It's a mighty pretty looking bait. Hi folks and welcome back to Ugly Dog Lures. We uh, got the Mike Challenge all finished up. He wanted purple, yellow, and pink. And we did it on a little jerk bait. And that's what we come up with right there folks. This was a fun little bait to paint. Definitely something different, and y'all know me, I'm different. Uh, thank you for sending the challenge in, Mike. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and share to my channel, and hit that notification bell, so you'll be uh, aware when we upload new videos. And uh, hit that like and, and comment. Let's uh, let's talk about things. So you folks have a blessed day, and I'll catch you later.